all these people down in church and started thinking and stuff, and all these thoughts were running through my mind. Mind you that I was actually the uh, president of the leadership team at St. John Lutheran Church, and I was doing all, all of this stuff while that was going on. And, you know, there's something to find some hypocrisy. I believe that would be it. Um, but it just happened to be inside. I went and picked it up, and, you know, my, my verse that I kind of base my life off of now is it's one that I went and looked at is Proverbs 3, verse 5, 6, and 7. It's, Trust the Lord with all your heart, be not under your own understanding, and always acknowledge Him, He will make you pass straight. I like to throw in seven because it's just it's very important to me. It says, Do not be wise in your own eyes, fear the Lord and shun all of And so that that kind of sparked something in my head that began to work its way through my actions and stuff that eventually got me where I am now. So, senior year, you're now, I mean, freshman college. Uh, tell us the effects of what you have to deal with because of what happened in the past to what you're still dealing with now. Um, I still mean like... Is it easy? No, it's it's hard. It's one of the first things I you know, think about every day. You know? I mean, it's not my job to stand up here and preach to you guys and not about the drugs. You know? There's accountability in that. I struggle every single day with the drugs. I want to do it every single day. But it's my walk with God that is more important than that. It, it become a part of my life that it's not it's not worth it and stuff it never was. I just refuse to see it. Jeff, so talk to me. Tell them. Tell them what you want to tell them. Alright. Um, basically, I mean, my life was something that I hope none of you back there have to experience go through. And if some guys out there that are, I mean you know who you are. Um, I'm praying for you. I mean, but anyway, like, raise your hand. Just raise your hand if you have, like, a secret addiction. If it's, if it's drugs, or if it's pornography, or if it's if it's homosexuality. You know, you laugh at these things, but they're real. Okay, now raise your hand if you know somebody else who has a secret addiction. Or know somebody else. Yeah, a lot more hands went up. How come it's easier to point out somebody else's mistakes rather than face your own? Yeah, I mean, I think it's one of those things that if you point out yourself, it's different. It's quick to, to look at others and say, yeah, I got a friend. It's very hard to say, I am that friend. You know, it, you know these things, I can you know, take my hat off to you. That takes a lot of courage to do something. I have no idea what it's like. You know, that's what I mean. But uh, anyway, I mean, you know, you, you, you joke around about these things and stuff, but you have to realize that you know people get gossiped about every day. That's the big thing is gossip. You know? Honestly, I think it's stupid because if that person is good enough for God, they're good enough for you. By the way, I I, I don't think I don't think anybody deserves a less amount of respect than anyone else. So, um, basically, um, remember, I still have to think about this. Every decision you make affects everybody you know. Big things to small things, anything at all, it affects everyone you know. And um, you just have to think before you act. Wisdom is the most precious thing any man or woman man can have, you know, in their life. And uh, try to make it like where the girl sounded more powerful. <laughs> I don't think you have to try to make it out. I'm pretty confident they are. Yeah, they have to take over. But, uh, I don't know. And then uh, another big verse for me was 1 Corinthians, you know, <coughs> chapter 13, 4 through 8, you know, all about love. What is love? You know, it's, it's not an emotion. You know, we talk about this in church for those of you who are with you. It's an action. And you choose to love somebody. It's, uh, oh, I think I'm in love with this person. No, it's I choose to love this person. It says, you know, love is patient, love is kind, love is not envy, it is not boast, it is not self-seeking, it is not to take into account wrong doings. You know, I can't remember who it was, it was Stephen Balin first, the other guy. Um, yeah, that guy. Uh, he, said, he said something, and this still sticks out to me today. I mean, you know, take, take love out of that Bible verse and put your name in it. For example, I use myself. Caleb is patient. 
Caleb is kind, Caleb does not forgive, Caleb does not propose, you know. Start taking into account that what you do affects other people. Everything's a choice, you know, and through your walk with God, that it's through my walk with God that I get to stand up here and talk to you guys tonight about something like that.